At Moffitt Cancer Center, we're offering a very unique trial for patients who previously had very limited options. Let's see how it works. We're here with Dr. Peter Forsyth, Chair of the Neuro-Oncology Department at Moffitt Cancer Center. One of the areas we're going to talk about today is leptomeningeal disease. Now, it's even hard to say. What is leptomeningeal disease? It's a bit uncommon, but it's where the tumor cells in the rest of your body go up to the fluid spaces of your brain. And once they're in the fluid spaces of your brain, they can go all over your brain and up and down your spinal cord. And when cancers get in there, it's actually very hard to get to them to treat the cancers. Is that right? Yes, it's very hard. With the existing treatments, patients usually only live two or three months. So we've been lucky to have so many people that are interested in this that we can really focus some of the science on this terrible problem. You have a very exciting yeah. approach to stimulate the body's immune system for breast cancer that has gone to the leptomeningeal space. Can you tell us about that? So we take some of the proteins in the cancer cell and put them in a dish and incubate them with your own immune cells to get some prepared and ready to attack these cells that express these proteins in your body. And for the first time, we're going to put these dendritic cells through a port in your brain so that we can easily access all the spinal fluid and we can really figure out how these things work and how to make them better. And leptomeningeal disease has been so hard, we just concentrate on treatment. But at least in mice, it looks like it might prevent it once you treat it. So it's kind of a secondary prevention. Well, it's a really exciting point that you're making that if you immunize in this yeah. space, yeah. the T cells know how to get back to yeah. this space. Yeah, I think so. And so it's really, um, really yeah. an exciting approach. And this is only available for uh, patients here at Moffitt Cancer Center, yep. right? It's the only first place in the world to do it and the only place. Wonderful. Well, these patients really have little options and so we yes. hope this will help them and become a, uh, become a standard therapy that will be given yeah. throughout the world, yeah. right? Yeah, it's very exciting.